man. But um, no, we've got to give the credit to the designers. Me and Jamie usually come up with like a general vibe and then we'll send it to designers and they'll do their magic. Um, we usually jump between two designers, Abby uh, of Flower and Bones and Ben Raper of Vacant Soul. They're really good designers, so if you need anything done or just even check out their work, they're really good. I would say Cardiff, it took me by surprise. It was quite a packed out show on a Monday night at Cardiff and um, to have people sing back your lyrics and have a good time in a place you've never really been to before was quite, yeah, it was overwhelming. London and Liverpool, they're both good. It's Jamie's hands on the record and the artwork. We'd spent months and months trying to get like a, a design that we both liked. We're quite picky when we're together, so um, nothing, not just anything was going to do. We'd paid deposits for designs and wasn't vibing anything. We were getting drunk in my hot tub one Saturday night and um, Jamie put his hands under the water. While we did that, I turned the jets on. I was like, oh man, that looks pretty cool. At that point, I grabbed my phone, took a photo, took a few photos, and then we're like, nah, that's it. Because it made sense, it's, he's got love and death on his, like, on his thumbs, so I thought it would be a pretty cool aesthetic for the, the whole, whole record name and stuff like that. Hot Mulligan, you'll be fine, that takes, that takes first prize. Phoebe Bridger's Punisher, that was a really good record. Slowly Slowly's, um, Race Car Blues, that was really good as well. But uh, yeah, Hot Mulligan, you'll be fine. Definitely takes first prize for me. Like I've, I've loved that band for so long and uh, I waited for that record for ages to come out. Used to spend hours listening to them when I was welding at my old job, it's great. I got quite a bit of stick for wearing khaki dungarees, but I really like them. Like I think they're out there, they're something different. So yeah, I would say that. I'm pretty simple when it comes to like jeans. I like black skinnies to me. And on the feet, Toki Martins or Vans, I would say. In fact, I'm getting quite into Nike SVs. They're quite comfy. We'll go down grease for that. We actually haven't played King Tut's Wow I 10. Like, it's just one of those that's escaped us for years. It's such an iconic venue and we'd love to play it, but it's just never never came up so um we look forward to playing it someday it can happen this year that'd be nice um maybe a bit of wishful thinking there we recorded our new record down south last year at century audio down in kent with ricky beetleston same man who did our last record um we also did a collab well we're in the making doing a collaboration with abandoned ship Apparel. We're doing an acoustic EP with them, which is something we've never done before. The fans always asked us to do acoustic kind of work. We've never done it, so we thought it would be a good opportunity to do it over Christmas holidays. With that drop, there's going to be tapes, t-shirts, and obviously the EP will be out later. Yeah, yeah, we'll definitely play a show together when things are back to normal. It'd be cool to get you up north, or we can catch you down south. Yeah, definitely we'll play a show with high praise sometime. Just wanting back to shows in general, to be honest. It's, it's getting a bit sickening now, but it is what it is. Like, you can't rush this thing. Hopefully everybody can get vaccinated and get back to normal. Back to touring, back to doing what we love, I suppose.